All right, so um, we are going to practice finding the uh, a, the coordinate uh, of a point on a line when you're given the slope of the line and you're given another point that is on that line. So it would be problems like this. Find the missing y coordinate of a point for y. You know, the, the x is 4, but you don't know what the y coordinate is, which lies on a line that has a slope of 2 thirds, 2 over 3, and uh, and this line also contains the point two five. So let me before we get into that, let's just review. Um, say like I've got a line like that. All right. So, um, so the slope of a line is change in y over change in x. Change. Delta just means change, it's delta sign. The change in y over the change in x. Or y you might have heard it called you know, rise over run. I like to call it change in y over change in x because rise and run doesn't really m mean anything to me. But uh, plus, anyway. OK, so what does this mean? Really? So what's the slope of this line? How is y changing relative to how x is changing? Well, if I look at this. Let's let's go. Let's just move from one point on the line to to another. So, um, here is a point on the line. I'm just picking a random point. Okay, uh, and then here's another point. Okay, so what happened to my y coordinate? Here are my y coordinates one, right? One. Here are my y coordinates one, two is three. So I've I've gone up. From from one from one to three from one to three. So what's my change in y? My change in y is is plus two. I've I've gone I've gone up from y is one to y is three. So this is an increase of two. Well, how so? How's that changing relative to how x is changing? So how did how did x change? So here my x coordinate is one two, and here it's. Uh, Three, four, five, six. Is that right? Yeah. So, uh, so my x coordinate changed from two to six. So that's a that's an increase of of four, right? I, I've my x has changed from one, two, three, four to get to this point. You can do this with any two points. You can compare any two points. It'll work out to be the same. So my change in y is two, and my change in x is four, and I can reduce that to to one half, right? So my so my slope on this line would be one over two. So if if I were so if I were given, you know, say like I don't have this graph, and I were given um, the point, uh, what is this? Uh, th uh, three four. I was given the point four. Um, where am I? Four, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, yeah, uh, four, two. And I were asked, um, so the slope. I, I was told the slope is one half, You've, and it, and the line includes the point four, two. Give me the y coordinate of the point six. You know y. You know this is an unknown. Oops. 6y. Then what I'm doing is uh, I'm starting. So I start with this point, and I use the f I use the fact that slope to know that well if I'm starting at this point and my change is is one over two, if I if I um, go up one and over two, uh, that'll be a point on the line. If I go up over two, that'll be another point on the line. Um, you know, so you c you can use the slope and a starting point to figure out other points on the line. So that's that's what we're doing here. So all right, so let's start let's start with this one. So find the missing y coordinate. Let's let's get rid of this actually. So okay, now I've cleared off some room here so we can we can work on this and actually let's let's just shrink this. Um so now that we kind of review what what is slope really, I think this this will make sense. So slope slope is the change in y over the 
change in x. Okay, so okay. We want to find a missing y coordinate here. So uh I mean the slope is two thirds. So two thirds will equal um so it's gonna contain the point two five. Where x is two and y is as five. So we've got both both x coordinates here. So let's let's start with that. I mean do a different color here. Um so as we as we move from this point to to, to this point, um, we're gonna do we're gonna start with our um, ending x coordinate minus our beginning, and this will tell us how much x has changed, right? So if if I go from two to four, I do four minus two, and that tells me that um, the change in x is two, so that's that's all we're doing here. Four minus two, um, or you can think of it as the the second x coordinate minus the first x coordinate, right? Um, what's our top going to be? What's our change in y? Well, uh, we don't know our um, second y coordinate. We're, we don't know where we're ending up, so we're just going to call that y. Um, but we knew we do know where we started, and that's and that's uh, y is five. So you can think of this top as y two minus y one. So if if I go um, from y is one to y is four, four minus one will tell me that I've I've increased my y by three, right? So let's. So now we've set up an equation that we can actually solve. Um, first of all, let's let's just call it four minus two. Let's call it two. Let me just rewrite this thing as two over three minus uh, or equals y minus five over two. Now this is a proportion. It's a, an equation where ratios are on both sides. So I can actually cross multiply. Um, so I can do two times two. I know is equal to three times y minus five. All right, so four is equal to. Um, and we can distribute the three. Three y minus fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, and then uh, to get y by itself, I want to solve for y. I can add fifteen both sides. So 19 is equal to 3y. Um, and then you can divide by 3. So y is, the y coordinate of that missing point is 19 thirds, um, which we can, that's an improper fraction. Let's turn it into a mixed number. 3 goes into 19 six times. You know, 3 times 6 is 18, and then we're left with one over, uh, one left over. So the y coordinate would be 6 and a third. You know, uh, sorry it didn't work out perfectly evenly, but uh, six and a third. All right, so um, let's let's do another one. Um, let me let me pause again, get rid of the stuff, and we'll do one more. All right, so again, um, slope is equal to the the change in y over the change in x. And the change in y is um, the difference between where you end up. We could call that y2, or the, the, the y coordinate of the second point, uh, minus where you started. Um, and then the change in x is, is the x coordinate of your second point, like where you end up, minus the uh, x coordinate of where you started. Okay, so we'll use this basic setup again. So find the value of y. So that the so that the line through um, negative four two and five y has a slope of three. So let's let's just name um, our our points here. We'll call this uh, one, and we'll call this two. So if we're talking about x one, this is x one. If we're talking about x two, this is x two. If we're talking about y one, that's y one. X uh, y two is there. Okay, and it has a slope of three. So the slope is equal to the change in y over change in x. So so three 
And I'm going to call this 3 over 1, actually. Um, so we can set up a proportion like we did in the last problem. So, or I guess so it's, so it's clear that there's a proportion going on. So the slope of 3 is equal to uh, the changes in the y. So y2 minus y1. So we're calling this the second point. Uh, you could do it the other way around, too. Um, y2 would be just y. We don't know that yet. Minus y1 is 2. So that'll tell us the differences in, in the y's, or the distance between the y's, um, the change in y. Uh, so over x2 minus x1. So x2 is 5, the x-coordinate of our second point, minus the x-coordinate of our first point. OK. So um, if you're subtracting a negative number, that's equivalent to adding. So let me just clear this up here. This is we have 3 over 1. This is equal to y minus 2 over 9. Now we can cross multiply and solve. So uh, 3 times 9 is 27. And that's equal to 1 times y minus 2, which is uh, y minus 2. So to get y by itself, we need to undo the fact that it's being subtracted by 2. Um, so that's gone. 27 plus 2 is 29 equals y. So the value of y um, for this point would be 29. So I'll let you try this third one on, on, on your own.